My name is Brian Watkins and this is a supplemental video to my QuickBooks module and it is designed to show you how to correct an error. And the error that you have made is you've gotten to the end and you've realized that you forgot to get a sales discount uh, applied to one of your payments. So let's, uh, I'm going to click on receive payments here and I'm going to go to previous and we're going to see this Mary Kalama here. She had a um, a sale on the 10th of May and the discount date was the 13th but there was no discount. So what we need to do now is undo this and figure out how to get the discount applied. So what you need to do is realize that we've already made a deposit. How do we know? Let's close this. We'll go to record deposits. And if I do my previous, I realize that I deposited that money. Well, I can't make any changes while I have a deposit. So what you're going to have to do is get to your Make Deposits screen, and you're going to right-click. When I right-click, I get options here. I can delete the deposit, void the deposit, um, do whatever I need to do. But the only way I can do that is by right-clicking. So what I'm going to do is delete this deposit. Okay, it was made from some payments. Deleting it could change the payments. Of course I want to, because uh, we need to correct the mistake. So it's now out. So now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to Receive Payments. I'm going to set my date to, I think it was May 13th. I can't remember. Uh, well, let's just set it for the 15th and see what happens. So we're going to say it was Mary Kalama. And the amount uh, is going to show up here. There's no unpaid invoices for the customer. So let's go, let's go find the invoice. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's go to the invoice. I'm bringing the invoice up. Previous. There's the invoice, and it was paid. So we're going to have to click on this, and we're going to have to void the invoice. Okay, so we're going to void the invoice. Now it's void. So now we have no invoice. Now it looks like what we did was we we shipped on the tenth. So we voided the, or sorry, bought on the third. Anyhow, we've cleaned up the invoice. So I'm going to change it. So now I'm going to come all the way back here. I'm going to create a new invoice, and she's already up there. And I'm going to set my date to May 10th. I'm going to say she bought four beach cruisers, 200 bucks, 840, but it was terms of 310 net 30. And she uh, bought these on the 10th. So I save and close. Now I've got my invoice back. Now I'm going to come back, and she is going to come along here, and she's going to pay me on. 15th which is within the discount period and I'll just click the box here 840 and it's saying do I want to automatically uh, let's do this one manually and there's a message this is what you missed the first time around it said this customer has discounts available to apply discounts click discounts and credits here's the discounts and credits and it says well she had 310 net 30 it suggests that her discount should be 2520 gives me the account sure let's put her discount in so now I see that she only owes 840.80, 814.80. Okay, and that was the problem. Before you booked the 840, and so you, you put too much money in because there was a discount that uh, this customer was entitled to. So I save and close. I go back to the bank. And this time I'm going to ignore that 840. And I'm going to come along, I'm going to deposit that 814. Okay, 814, 15th, everything's good. Now, I don't want that 840 there, so it looks like I have that still floating about. I'll clear this, and I'll go back to receive payments. Mary Kalama, 81440. There's the 840. This is the one I want to get rid of. So I'm going to delete payment. 
and it's been used to pay and it will deleting will cause the invoice statements to have unpaid balances you will recall that we went back all the way to the beginning of the transaction we voided everything so yes we want to get rid of that and so that makes this the next one in order I close that and now when I go to my record deposits I don't have any uh, undeposited so the trick here is if you made a problem go all the way back to your original invoice okay I could go back to her invoice here she's paid it it's all been credited but I can right click and it gives me the ability to void the invoice okay, you can void anything remember this is QuickBooks you're in charge don't let QuickBooks boss you around so if you make an error on the test just simply go back undo everything and do it right good luck